I don't know. Like it, it's, it seems like a strange. Maybe, imagine this whole thing is like. Remember, that? I can't believe they got rid of those fruit snacks. <laughs> well, just why there. would you think of this? Oh, other? <laughs> no, 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 you should have said that. Andrew Johnson said, "Hope Solo shows up to podcast with boxing gloves and a box cutter." <laughs> Let's talk about uh, women's soccer a little bit because this was little this is the so? big. This is a big Loso, story. More like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, you may have seen this online if uh, if you're in American soccer. Twitter, especially Hope Solo, is uh, has uh, made a deal. Uh, she's to start a podcast with Sirius X- XM. What could go wrong? <laughs> because- <laughs> if those of you who don't know Hope Solo, take if Slatan Ibrahimovic was angry and had a microphone in front of him <laughs> and a little bit of truth serum. That's who Hope Solo is. Right. She's a goalkeeper for the women's national team. She was fired from the women's national team. Right. For uh You don't you don't get fired as a player often. You yeah. Just yeah. get left off. But she was removed. Something unjustly, but she was Right. Removed. And it was after her comments, I guess, against Sweden and, and it caused right. a lot of controversy in the uh, after the uh, Olympics where they, they lost to Sweden. She also don't take no shit. Like she's just one of them players she's like she don't take shit. Right. And she was also you know there were personal issues. She uh was she had a you know, a, an accusation about uh, uh, fighting or a nephew right. or so. Yeah, there was, the charges were dropped. There and, were domestic uh, violence charges. I don't know if they what happened, but they were against her, not she didn't. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, so there's obviously controversy, but she's also <laughs> she, she's also um, you know obviously acknowledged as one of the greatest goalkeepers uh, in, in the, the world. Yeah. Right. So we all can accept that she's a great player. A lot of definitely a lot of attitude, uh, courage, and personality. Right. Uh, everyone accepted that, and that's you know when you have a, a very good player, sometimes they they might be have whatever an attitude or something, or uh, or might be difficult to work with or play with or whatever. But you appreciate them that they're on your team and, you know, getting you championships and stuff like that. So uh, so but, she starts a podcast. Right. And here's the thing, right? Like you're going to have someone who's a a strong, controversial personality. Right. Yeah. Who a lot of people maybe have some guesses about where how they, you know, maybe lean uh, socially. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Who do you have as your first guest? <laughs> Yeah. Right? You want to start it off positive, right? Maybe like, you bring on a former coach, <laughs> someone that loves you. No, no, no. Let's bring on Carly Lloyd to talk for the first time in like three years. <laughs> and she's, yeah, delivered all the smoke because the clip that they, that this is the first clip that she shares about so, the podcast. I'm going to be, let you guys peek behind the curtain a little bit, right? Now, when we make a when we make an episode of our show and we decide to release a clip, we often will say, you know what we should do? We should take the funniest clip. Mm-hmm. What's the little piece of this show that's going to put us in the best light that's going to make someone want to say, I need to see that. I need to hear that. So what's the best thing that happened? Let's put that. Up. If this is the best thing that happened. <laughs> oh, no. What is the rest of this look, thing? I'm like? going to look. I'm going to assume this was uh, completely intentional. Right. It's uh, there's a because lot. Because it is a controversial. It's clip. a controversial thing. Let's yeah, go. But they're also like, here's the other thing. I mean, whatever. If you haven't seen it. Uh, there's a conversation, but I agree with you. If it's controversial, but they're like lightly stepping in controversy. Right. Buddy. Lean in. If you're going to say it, <laughs> say it with your chest, my J. So if you haven't seen the clip, it's essentially uh, Hope and Carly Lloyd. And Carly really just saying that she uh, did, she hated playing for the U.S. women's national team the last few years. She said that she hated uh, uh, the culture uh, around the team. They keep saying the word, the culture, the See, culture, the culture. Don't say hated. She said she didn't enjoy. No, she said, I hated it. I'm, she did I'm, say I'm quoting. You know I believe she would have said hated too. <laughs> she said I hated. Uh, uh, I, I, she said the word hate. So she, uh, that's fine. If 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 that's how she felt, I'm uh, accepting that. But she, the reason she hated it, uh, she keeps saying the culture of the team was not the same. And but now because we as fans know her, now we have to guess what that means. Right. And it's not culture. Doesn't mean like. You know, everybody show up early and bring <laughs> snacks. You know what I mean? By culture, she means like too diverse. Yeah, oh, it's, too diverse well, thought. We have to, we have to interpret it, right? Right. And That's what I'm saying. Now we have to figure out what that means. And the fan bases are suggesting that this might mean that it's a little too progressive. 
Yeah, the, and look, and and if uh, Thomas put, uh, says it right here in the chat, says cable news tactics, which is like almost the we're just putting it out there. We're not yeah. saying we're not saying that, right. and it's like, well, this is what you you want. You want to rile people up right, 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 by right. being so vague about it. Right. So if, if this is if that's the move, then this is what the reaction is going to be. And uh, if you look at Hope Solo's tweet with the clip. You know, there's a lot of people flaming her, and I love. Well, you know what, what I love, uh, especially what, when people do this. Um, I think this started with like BTS or something like that. I remember seeing this, but um, the fan cam, fan cams, where people make these like montages. I think you meant the the K-pop group. <laughs> I was like, the yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. BTS, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. But they would do this. Would be, like the 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 K-pop fans would make these right there. That, yeah. They make fan cams uh, and little montages of like players and and or a, a celebrity that they like of one of the or whatever. And and they were then now somebody did this with the, and they only highlighted all the black players uh, in in the U.S. Women's National oh, they have Team. Have a photo of all the black players and it says culture. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking but about. But this is what you're gonna open yourself up if to. If you're gonna put it out there and you're not gonna say it, you're not gonna like name names, so to speak. Yeah. This is what's gonna happen. And also, knowing knowing Carly strictly for media, she's not gonna come out and say no. This isn't what I mean. I meant. Right. This is going to continue to linger out there. And now this, I mean, what a, this is her first episode, bro. But what is, but let's, and let's, what is the culture that, uh, that, that they're frustrated with? I think, I'm going to assume me, I'm going to say it's the inclusive. It is also the way they treated that girl who said she didn't want to play with, uh, she didn't want to wear the gay pride. Um, right. Maybe, oh, sure. The maybe. fact that the rest of the team kind of banded to get her off the squad, I think that's what they mean because. It's no secret that Carly, you know, it was, I don't know for I don't well, know how she, she voted, but she certainly leans a certain way. Well, yeah, she didn't. Uh, my, I'm, and the, I guess the thing that comes to my mind specifically was the kneeling during the anthem uh, to 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 protest for uh, you know George Floyd right. and 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 uh, uh, you know uh, and policing and and all that stuff. And if that is the culture that you don't like, right. like I, I don't really feel that much sympathy. For you, like, what is difficult about like, that culture? Are the fans wrong? And you're talking about a different <laughs> culture. I don't know. Like, it, it's it seems like a strange. Maybe, maybe, imagine this whole thing is like. Remember, I can't believe they got rid of those fruit snacks. <laughs> well, why there. would you think of this oh, other? <laughs> no, no, you should have said that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a look. I, I all I can assume is it's it is a deliberate choice to have this conversation in this particular way. Andrew Johnson said, "Hope Solo shows up to podcast with boxing gloves and a box cutter." <laughs> Yo, dead ass, and really, it's not even her. I mean. You know, she's. Not, I don't want to say instigating, but there's a reason why you have this conversation. There's right. a reason why. And, and look, and I. And she agreed also. So Hope Solo was like, "Yeah, you know me. I didn't like it. Yeah. It's just me and you in the room watching our stupid shows." <laughs> Fox News. Tucker Carlson. Away at it. I'll tell you this much: they weren't watching the what? entertainment sports program. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, yeah, why are you watching reruns of Tucker, bro? Damn, bro from <laughs> the Obama administration. <laughs> you need to see it again. <laughs> why you got this all DVR'd, bro? Yeah. <laughs> just absurd so look they open themselves up to to jokes to ridicule to to criticism i assume that is that is what they want you put out this clip this is what you what you expected and this is what you want and you're getting a sort of so i don't imagine you know hope or carly are like oh my god how are they reacting like you knew everyone would react this way uh, it, it's it's interesting because look, uh, Carly just you know had her farewell. A lot of people are huge fans of her. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a lot of young girls like we, you know we were we would go Gotham Carlson games. Carlson Lloyd. <laughs> What does that mean? Tucker. <laughs> Tucker. <laughs> Yo, Thomas. It's Fucking a... destroy me with it's, that. Look, I, I'd be lying if I said, like, hearing stuff like that from, uh, you know, someone who, you know, like, she's a legend in, in the game, without a doubt. Yeah, but it's just a little know, disappointing. I think part of the reckoning that we've gone through as a country over the last, like, six years, let's say... Um, I think part of that is we're going to have to start to accept that if we're going to give our athletes unbridled ability to get in front of us with their opinions, we're going to have to come to grips with the fact that we're not going to like them all. You yeah, know? yeah. Which is fine. Like, same thing with, like, yo, rap was better for me when I didn't really get your live opinion in a car. 
You know what I mean? Like, yo, stop saying this dumb shit because I like your music and now I can't listen to it anymore. Right. Because you wouldn't have said that your publicist wouldn't have allowed this to be printed in a, in a magazine article had you said this or for an interview with a newspaper. And that's where we are with our athletes. But I also think as fans, it's our right that if you're going to say something we don't like, we get the right to tell you that. Now, sure. That's what the whole point of this of these mediums are. It, just, media. it, it, it does make me think about like so uh, and and trying to be objective even about like even if i don't agree with hope or carly or, or whatever like the, you start a podcast in in soccer you want soccer fans to listen to what you have to say uh you want to you want them to listen to your interviews and then it's like it's not to say that it's easy to to pander to conservative people or to you know to that you know wherever those people lean or whatever it's but it's just like I don't know if it's not necessarily easy because you're going to deal with backlash, but it's like whack. You know what I mean? It's like corny. It's corny. It's it's, it's just uh, you're just like not liking the progress, the progression. So many marginalized people have made it during your tenure while you were employed right. that you're just like, oh, it's, I just I hate going to work because I have to hear uh, Rapino talk about, you know, right. LGBT rights or whatever. It's like I wanted to meet the president. <laughs> just, yeah, just, like it's stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, so to me, it's it's just. It's it's selfish and it's not very uh, you know squad like you know normally you do things for the team and that doesn't seem to be what's happening. It, it just it feels a little bit like I mean we've we've met uh, and interviewed so many U.S. Women's National Team players. Uh, yeah. We've we've spoken to Megan Rapino. I mean had actual one on one conversations. She's knew who we were before <laughs> we got there. Just I mean uh, not only is she like a, a kind and gracious person, but she's also like. You can tell how driven she is about her beliefs and yeah. and all the work that she's done to, to enough where we were like, dude, you definitely want to be in politics, and she's like, no, and we're like, well, and shocked. how how can if you're a U.S. Women's National Team player playing right now and you see that and you see Carly say that, how do you not feel like, yo, why this, this lady was two faced or like pretending to or be? Maybe said, they know who she was. Oh, maybe behind closed doors. Yeah, but it didn't seem that way it, it, during her farewell tour. Everybody was showing love and, and, and giving her respect. She's, She's still a legend. legend, but it just seems it seems odd. Right. It's a, I would feel a little bit backstabbed. Like what if what if Kid Rock saved you from a fire? You know I mean? <laughs> Leave me in here, kid. <laughs> Damn. I gotta Damn. Be nice to this guy Why now. gotta be Mr. Rock? Damn. <laughs> this is carrying me out. I'd be like, yo, what's up with your opinions, bro? Did you enjoy that video? I know you did. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gotten to the end of the video unless you do like some YouTube hate watching or whatever, which is kind of weird. But if that's your kink, I ain't here to shame. Hit the subscribe button. That's what you're supposed to do. You can hit like, you can leave a comment, do all the YouTube homework you're supposed to do. If you enjoy the Cooligans, you like laughing, you like some fun soccer content, this is the place for you. So let's go. Hit the subscribe button.